how I said in the beginning of this series, at a certain point, I was making some commentary about how delinquent animes are secretly yaoi shows in disguise. Last episode. What do you think? Am I wrong? I feel like I'm kind of right. Kind of gay. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of sussy moments happening. Hiragi, I also disrespected him too much. I don't think it's fair though, because the anime portrayed him as someone that has like insane anxiety with heartburn and constantly is not that strong. Turns out he's like a fucking war god. He like leads uh, of the different factions in Bofurin. He's like one of the strongest. I'm not sure. The warning they used wasn't the strongest. It was a different warning because I doubt that the other factions, if you're going to introduce Hiragi in the beginning, like if the other characters show up and they're weaker, wouldn't that be exciting? I'm not really sure. Point of the story is Hiragi is goaded. The other character was just basically chasing after Hiragi because he was cheating on him with, by chasing after Umemiya. It was all just a fucking, you know, a love story. Anyways, uh, today we should have an actual serious fight. Last episode was a serious fight too. But I think a lot of people are expecting Sakura versus Manabu. Let's begin today's reaction. Back at the Ori Theater. What's up, Manabu? What happened in the past? Huh. Who's that on the ground? Who knows? Dude, the way he talks so slow kind of makes me mad. <laughs> We're gonna get a flashback about that flashback very soon during the fight. Kill him! <laughs> One punch, he says. Thanks, Zainsu. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Fights or conversations? That's what the talk is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Are they gonna fucking have a fight? And while fighting, it's gonna be like a therapy session for fucking Manabu over there. And then he's gonna have a bunch of like backstories on why he's even doing this. And it's gonna be sad. And he, basically, the Sakura is gonna be like a therapist. Basically. It, it's just we converse through fights and we overcome the fucking past trauma for him. <laughs> Oh yeah, the kid that basically started all this. Ooh, but I feel an opening coming, man. <laughs> okay, bro. No? What's his pose? Looking like no guard, but he knows what he's doing, right? He's like, he's like, come command. <laughs> Sakura might get humbled? Uh, who knows? Oh, he's talking slow. Everything about him is slow, but when he fights, he's fast as fuck. He is a grappler. <laughs> You tackle them, Pony, you throw them, they're done. Okay. Nice! We're getting grabbed. Nope. Ooh, that was dangerous! Oh, he took that personally. That's what we should be doing, man! Look how he countered the grab! We went for the tackle? Push them! We should take that lesson, bro. I can't take this kid seriously. How is he the boss? It's the gap moe of him being so cute and ooh woo, but then when he actually fights against Umemiya in the next couple episodes, probably gonna be insane, right? Umemiya doesn't seem too worried. Nah, he's not even trying right now, right? Smile. Smile or something. Come on. <laughs> A lot of people are actually upset about how cocky Sakura is and wants him to be humbled. So I'm sure they're super happy about this scene with this guy just like shitting on him. I mean, we're kind of like the author is basically acknowledging how it's like, yeah, Sakura, this motherfucker, he talks a lot of shit, right? He always talks about, oh, you think you're the strongest? You're not fucking strong. You're weak, right? So I'm sure this is, you know, pleasuring a lot of people. 
強い群れの中にいるからでしょう。なるみたい。What the fuck is this? Is it flashback stuff? 一人じゃ。何も言えないんでしょう。That's not very personal. ちょっと。まだ話の途中。言う通りだ。自由は力のあるやつしか与えられない。力がなきゃ。Left, right, b a p a Left, right, b a p a Alright! That he has to win now. Unless he's gonna pull a, pu pull a fucking Itadori Yuji in Shibuya arc in the beginning where he fucking loses immediately after saying this shit. You better win, bro! <laughs> Is it somehow working? I don't know, the kicks are just landing. I don't know if he's happy about those kicks. I'm just impressed that they're yapping this much while doing the kicks, bro. Tell me that this is not Yaoi bait. Tell me. Nah, dude. The, the kids watching this show for the action, they don't understand. But the fucking <laughs> the Fujos watching this shit are like, oh my god, did you see his tummy? <laughs> okay, it's evened out a little bit more. Reminds me, and we're equalized all of a sudden. Nothing. I don't go to this school, bro. What the fuck do you want me to say? Basically, don't talk shit about this school and the mantra, the devotion. Ooh, that's an actual fucking stomp on the hell. I won't lose, even if that means I'll die or some shit, right? He said that he wouldn't lose unless you kill him. Ah, ah. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. The people that got the early lead usually loses after a backstory. <laughs> So believe, so believes. That's a lot of blood. He's still roasting the fucking Shishi Totem group. Just kidding. Did she just hit the bully group? I mean, like, is he wrong? Every time someone lost in a couple episodes ago, their default fucking NPC line was. Can someone move that guy? I don't care who it is. And then they show up and they toss the fucking body over to the side. Like, bully group makes sense to me. Devotees of power until you lose. And then what happens to you? I can't see, I can't see, I can't tell. Oh, 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 he missed on purpose, though, right? What? Wait, is, is this truly a misunderstanding? Hold the fuck up. He didn't. No, but he still fucked him up. Wait, wait he's actually. Is he about to go fuck someone up? Bro, he... <laughs> the guy on the left, he's been knocked out for the past two episodes. He finally got up. Tokame is about to put him to sleep and his boyfriend, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. It's night, night time for these two again. Oh, oh. And they're knocked out. <laughs> that fucking guy with the Ryun voice actor, bro, on the other side, dude. That guy. He's just, he's just getting fucked. Over and he's the guy that got one shot too. I mean, I guess the author did that to kind of show and hint later that it's actually their fault from the beginning. So fuck him. Damn! Holy shit! Took both their jackets off. Huh? I don't know how to feel about this anymore. Togami is actually kind of a good person. Because it was these two that was fucking shit up, and then we jumped to conclusion what kind of school this was. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah, I think he is a good person. We had the wrong understanding of the school. Oh, backstory time or what? Yeah. 
Pokame, I think, versus Shishi Totem. ハイヤクイコみんなに紹介するよ。ピボットキャラかホーサムファケンシシトレンのフラッシュバックアイカインドフィンクウィアーテイペインテディズドゥズイヴィルピースオブシットザシットザンドンケアバウトイチアザーシ
then the whole vibe to the school went wrong. And I think this is the foreshadowing that some of the members talked about whenever like Choji became leader and then everything changed and Shishitoran. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did Riwan and his boyfriend get fucked up by Togami then? Because they were at the incident of bullying the middle school kid. Technically, shouldn't have he done that to Choji? Because like the whole thing of like you're bullying, you know? The, the bullying started because of Choji. Like, well, he can't just go there and fuck up Choji, right? Because like Choji got a fight with Umemi and we can't, we can't fucking ruin that. I'm just starting to realize that, damn, I feel bad for Ryuan and his fucking boyfriend. But I mean, they were still at the side of the problem and they did, you know, still participate. The eyes definitely look way darker than before. I'm not sure if it's just the, the raining, but you know how in before it was more red and brown. And this kind of looks like what it looks like now. Just to kind of symbolize that he has changed. Damn, I feel bad for Togami, man. Look at those eyes, man. Look at those eyes. And Togami just coped and just kind of went along with it because what could he do? I'll do all the skinning too. So he took it upon himself to enact all the shitty things. I feel bad for Kamechan, man. Damn. This is deeper than I thought. What the fuck? I thought Shishitoran as a whole was just like assholes. But it's like, it used to be just a group of friends. And then he became leader and lost sight of what's true to him. And then he just started projecting all these shitty ideals on other people. Togami has to just go with it. Bro didn't never even want to be here in the first place. He just showed up because that was, it was fun, right? Now it's not fun anymore. Man. Now we need Umemi to step in. We need like Sakura to... Oh, also, is this the... I'm not sure if this is the backstory. No, this is. This is the intro scene, right? This is the intro backstory in the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this makes a lot more sense. So Sakura will probably beat, you know, uh, Togami. But then while doing so, we'll, we'll have, you know, hashed out our feelings together. And after that, it's going to be Choji versus Umemiya, and that is the real fight. Umemiya will probably win. Choji will then get corrected. Shishitoren and we will might be even friends and allies. And then, moving forward, maybe Zinc becomes the next antagonist. I could see something like that. Kani <laughs> Choji needs some corrections, man. <laughs> Damn! What the fuck?! The reason that Choji just like is always smiling and laughing and having fun. It was no, there was a reason for it. Togami said, please keep smiling with the guys. Wait, I can't even tell if he's crying right now because it's raining too. I bet he is. Damn. Choji just being a little goofball. It wasn't just a joke. There was something so fucked up behind it, man. He took it upon himself. Yeah. Put on these shades. I'll protect Choji and then I'll become the person that gets hated. <laughs> this is so good! I'm actually getting emotional over this, bro! What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> this fucking yaoi bait fucking flashback! Choji needs to be the sun, so I'll be the moon! Kamechan, you have to win now! Fuck! I don't know who to cheer for! Fuck. Oh my god, man. He's taking them. <laughs> Actual chills, brother! Actual fucking chills! I'm getting just as emotional, if not more, than Charlotte Episode 7 with the little sister and pizza sauce, bro. Holy fuck! That's the episode, man. I... Damn, I kind of see why people kind of love this show so much. Beyond just the hype fights, there's an actual good story that revolves around... Like, this is just Shishitoren. This is just early game. Who knows how the story progresses? But, like, Shishitoren was never really like this. They already hinted us in the beginning of how then things change when leadership changed with Choji assuming the role. But it's like, why did that even happen? Because Choji, once he became strong, he thought that he'd be the most free, as he'd be fun. But then he realized that once he reached that goal... It's really not like that. He felt empty. So then he projected his ideals onto everyone. And then that's when shit got bad. And Togami never wanted to fucking do this. 
Toriyama wanted to fucking just chill at his fucking festival, you know, shop and, you know, live the life there. But then eventually he got used to this friend group and he was having fun with fucking Choji on his back like this, right? We gotta bring the sun back. Oh my god. I'm really glad that this is a multi-episode fight too, right? Because so far everything has been just very episodic. One episode towards a certain like, character and a villain, but this one's like overstretching, like not overstretching, but like, stretching, like spanning two episodes. And it's getting fucking good. The... The fights are hype, but if there is no some sort of plot or some kind of story or some characters that you root for on an emotional basis, then the fights are kind of empty. And the fight was feeling a bit empty, but with this backstory, I'm fucking cheering for Togame, man. What the fuck? This is fucking peak. Makes me excited for next episode, but I don't think Kamechan's gonna win. Sorry, lose. I think Kamechan will, lo will lose, and then Sakura will win. Wonder how Choji will feel about that. Maybe Choji will still decide to stick to his guns and be cruel to Kamechan for losing. But before that happens, maybe either Sakura or Mimiya stops him, gets a final fight, corrects Choji, and then the sun will return. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, Take care.